What's up? This is Mav Hoffa. It's my man Carl Payne. I need y'all to click the link below yeah. and go vote for my guy. He's up for the Best out Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Television Movie, Limited Series, or Dramatic Special. Ah! Go vote! Yes! Click the link! Click go the vote, link! Motherfucker. Ooh, let's get it! <laughs> when you up and you win and shit is awesome. Never felt real pain till a nigga lost one. If somebody take from you, what it's gonna cost them? Tired of niggas acting like they really put in work. Hit a boss, come be yourself. It'll do you better in the long run and see yourself. Staring down a barrel of a long gun. Some rappers never had no street cred, so they bought some. Try to cut the streets off and turn it to extortion. Everybody snitching, niggas bidding like an auction. Life is short till you hear it sentence when the court done. He was moving faster than a bullet, then he caught one. It was like a whole slew of chicks, girls just bum rush me. Cops had to come get me, take me oh, backstage. Shit. Now I'm backstage. I wasn't supposed to be back there. Right. And they got a barricade, like a police barricade. I was like, what the fuck? My best friend was like, you made it. You made it. You <laughs> he was thinking about himself. Yeah. He wasn't thinking about me. He was, like, oh. he, was like, he was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, and it was like that feeling just having that happen. I was like, oh, the power of this TV thing is crazy. Right. Because I just wanted to, you know, do what I did. So when the girls rush you, what they do? Come on. <laughs> he almost had me answer that. Like, for real. Like, what you talking about? Right. So what's up? You horny? <laughs> you horny? <laughs> nah, you don't be feeling horny sometimes? <laughs> I was just asking. I was just wanting to know. <laughs> Yo, I love this guy right here, man. <laughs> so then what happened? <laughs> oh. Go ahead. Tell me what happened. Turn it on, boys. Oh. Turn it on. Yo. Boy, you started on. this shit. <laughs> this That's gas line. That's not my line. <laughs> That's gas line. That's gas line. I don't say shit like that. Yo, that was all That's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> I had nothing to do with that. That was all your fault. Are right, you backstage? New edition. Backstage. First time meeting them because I had to be back there after that. Watch them, meet them. Um, it was wild. It was a super wild feeling. And then um, the um, one of the, the um, older cats from the Cosby show that was with us. He was like escorting us there that night. Um, I met Blair Underwood that night because hmm. he needed a ride and we had a limo. Hmm. And, you know, got escorted out. And he was, he had just, had, I think he had just did Crush Groove or some shit. So, <laughs> so he wasn't Blair yet. Right. Because he was, Taxi! Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. What's that hit? Yeah. Crazy. All right. No more Cosby show. In between that space, what's going on? You're going on auditions. What was it like when you realized you wasn't coming back? Oh, what, when did that sink no, it was, in? It was painful. It, it was painful. It was definitely like, it was definitely, um, it was a moment. I, you know what I'm saying? It was definitely a moment. After two years, it had to be. It wasn't about the time. It was about the experience. It was about something happening that's negative. Right. Or something being taken away from you that you love. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever, like the opportunity and experience. And again, like we talked about earlier, when you already feel like these opportunities. Yeah. And then to feel like one of your own people is doing it, you're like, yo, what is going on? Yeah. So like I said, I ain't gonna lie, it hurt, of course. I'm 15 years old. Come on, man. I'm a kid. I know part of you must have held out hope that maybe he'll call back and... No. Nope. Nah. It was in a power voicemail. No, y'all stupid. Nah, yo. Come on. Nah. It was <laughs> <laughs> You know. <laughs> I was thinking. No, nah, man. Nah. <laughs> nah, it was it was uh it was supposed to happen. That's right. the way I look at things, man, in life, man. Mm. Like a part of your journey and a part of the things that mold you and shape you have to happen, good or bad, because it's almost like your testimony 
so you can testify or because it's, it's your test, right? So, you know, it, it, it molds you, it changes you, mm. makes you become the person that you were supposed to become. Mm. Right. Right? We talk about bullying, for example, in school, right? Bullying is like, we're so quick t- as parents to helicopter or to be like, you know, because we, we want to shelter us. them yeah. from some of the stuff we dealt with because, again, even though this is a different world, it was a different world then too. And some of the things we dealt with were kind of crazy. Yeah. You know, we talk about it like even as as a latchkey kid being able to move around the city and do things at such a young age, we never do that today. Mm-hmm. Never allow our kids to do that today, right? Now, but being bullied and having to deal with that, having to deal with a bully, that's going to shape you. That's going to mold you into or it's going, you know, we're going to figure it out who you are. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we're going to figure it out. Uh, right? Survival of the fittest. But you understand what I'm yeah. saying? Like, having to go through certain experiences, you have to. Right. Mm-hmm. You have to. I right. remember my son, my oldest son, my oldest son, when we took him out of private school and he went to public school. Hmm. And he had to, like, he was being picked on constantly, constantly. Gangs in L- in California too. He ain't never had this public school experience. You know what I'm saying? He was first class. Now he ain't coach like he ain't, he on spirit. Like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> was it me? Daddy, <laughs> help! <laughs> Please. <laughs> but you're not. You know. But if it's in you, it's in you. Mm-hmm. It don't matter what the circumstances are or where you are. But when you your back is against the wall, when you confront it. But when somebody, you know, when, when you have to, you're going to show up. Yeah. And that thing that's in you going to show up. Right. Mm-hmm. And other people are going to be like, oh, damn. Because he went from being bullied to flipping the script. Right. And he got so crazy with it that he was doing the Kimbo Slice shit. Like, he was in back- backyard. Yeah, he was backyard. Boogieing in the backyard. Banging him. Banging him. Grown men who just got home. Banging him. Rolling. Yep. And to where one of one of the people in Mayweather's camp was like, we need you. Oh, shit. That's crazy. We need you. So mind you, I'm on TV. This nigga running around building a name for himself. And I don't even know until I find a shoebox full of money in the closet. Like, what do you want? It ain't mine. Yeah, yeah. That's how he bought his first car. It's all around. Look around you, man. You can find inspiration. You can find discouragement. It all depends on you. Perception is everything. Some people just hear another song. Some people hear the greatest. A nigga used to have no chill. Nowadays, I bump side A. Traffic on bumper to bumper, stuck on the highway. 